Ah, how to hold space for someone's experience. Holding space, you heard that expression, expression before, and I'm sure that you have been in situations sometimes where somebody is going through some deep emotional trouble. The question is, how do you handle it? What do you do with it? The main mistake that I see people doing is interfering with that person's emotions too fast. You know, you see somebody who is maybe sad or crying and you go like, oh, you should not cry. Let me fix that. Let me try to fix you. Let me try to take that pain out of your system. And in doing that, you create a big trouble, big problem in their system because their system is supposed to be processing something. And by interfering with the process, by interfering with what's going through in them, you are going to hold them, stop them from having an experience that may, might be very precious for them. And so, yeah, <laughs> you know, this is the tip for right now. It is that hold on, pause, holding space, holding space. It means that you don't lock, you don't create, you don't respond to your discomfort, to that person's emotion. You allow them to be, you allow them to be sad, you allow them to cry, to scream, if it's safe to scream in that space. But basically you allow that emotion to flow through them because if you block that emotion, you are going to rob them from a very precious experience that they might have. And yes, you can hold space, you know, you can make sure that they don't hurt themselves, but don't stop that experience. Don't interfere. Don't come with your agenda, your own ego coming in and, yeah, I'm going to fix that right now because I know how to help you. And I have all this mindset and all this advice, and I'm going to project all that stuff on you, which is a result of my own experience and how I have been behaving in these experiences. And I'm going to tell you about my stories while you are in pain. You know, this is... I mean, I'm making a little bit fun of it, but this is how very often people are going to respond to somebody in pain, are going to, to step in with too much intensity or too much juice or their own agenda or projections or self-reflections on their own stories. It's like, slow down, slow down. This is very, very important. Just hold the space there for the person to have that emotion, that experience, without interfering with it. And in doing that, you are going to become a really good listener, right? You are going to be able to listen to that person's experience. And then, you know, what you can do is like, say, yes, yes, I hear you. I can see it hurts. You, you, exper you experience or you express empathy, compassion. You're like, I know it hurts. Yeah, I'm here for you. Hold that space. And then you can suggest things a little bit later. Once they went through the experience, you can say, would you like my help with that? Is there any way I can help you further? You see, it's soft, it's gentle, but don't rob them from that experience while they are in the middle of it. I hope you remember, remember that. I'll see you soon. I love you. Bye-bye.